You might wonder, why is it important to reduce stress on cattle? Well, stress lowers productivity. It lowers immune function. It uh, reduces weight gain. And also, it improves the welfare of the animal to reduce stress. Cattle is an animal that's got their eyes on the side of their head. They're a prey species animal, so they're ever vigilant, looking for danger. This is why any little small distraction in a facility can impede movement of the cattle and make them balk and refuse to go up the chute. Let's just look at some of the things that will make cattle balk. One of the things that makes them balk is high contrasts. Here's a cattle guard made by painting lines across the highway. Now, you don't want to have this effect right in the middle of your cattle handling facility because it's going to make them balk. You need to get down in your chutes and see what are the cattle seeing. Here's an example of a little ray of sunlight across a loading ramp. And in this facility, it's got good solid sides, and I like solid sides so the animals don't see things outside the chute that scare them. But one of the things that's bad in this picture is somebody left a hat up on the fence. You know, a coat or a hat on the fence, it'll make them balk because it's something that looks different. It's something that looks like it shouldn't be there. Now, here's one that's really a bad one. You've got a little piece of chain hanging down with a free end that's just going like this in the chute. And in many facilities, I've seen really bad balking caused by these little pieces of chain. And all I did was go in and tie the pieces of chain up, and then the cattle were much more willing to walk up the chute. Now, here's a tricky one. This is right at the entrance to the single file chute. If you get down at cow height and you look right up that chute, you're going to see a car through the fence. Now, if you stand up at the regular height, the way, I, the way I am now, you won't see the car through the fence. Now, you also can see a little plastic bottle hanging there. And the wind would move that just very, very, very slightly, and that will make the animals balk. Other things you need to look for are coffee cups, pieces of plastic. These are all things that make cattle balk. Now, here's what I call the black hole effect. This is a real serious design mistake because your crowd pen's outside in the bright light and your chute's all inside in the darkness and they just refuse to go in. I prefer to design a facility so that you have a good long portion of the single file chute outside the building. So you, I want to get them lined up in single file before they have to go into darkness. Now this facility works really well. Because off to one side, you can see how bright the light is, there's a big garage door. And when that big garage door was open, it let a lot of light into the facility, especially right at the entrance of the single file chute. In fact, at this feedlot, they found that if the garage door was closed, they just absolutely couldn't get the cattle in. In other words, the difference between good handling and bad handling was lighting. They had to have that door open to let in plenty of light. Now, at this particular place, they built the whole roof with skylights. I'm a believer in putting skylights in your building, and you want to use translucent ones because you don't want any shadows. You just want to have it nice and bright. Well, this is the reason why you need to have solid sides on your cattle handling facilities. As the cattle come up to this loading ramp, they can see a person through the fence. And animals don't like to approach a person who's deep, deep, deep in their flight zone. Existing facilities can often be improved by just adding some solid sides. Some sheets of plywood, old conveyor building, uh, pieces of metal. It, you can use just about anything, but it must not flap. If you put thin plastic on there and that flaps, that's not going to work. Cattle feel safer when there's a barrier in between you and the animal. Now, in this case, the solid side doesn't even go up all the way. But even a partial solid side will make a difference in keeping your animals calmer. You also need to have solid sides on your crowd pen and have a solid crowd gate. Solid crowd gate's really important because that stops the cattle from turning back and trying to go back to the yards. Now, a lot of facilities have got way too many of these backstop gates. Oftentimes, a backstop gate right at the entrance will make animals balk. I have found that in a lot of the places I've gone to, I could just tie these backstops open, especially the one at the entrance, and the cattle would go a lot better. 
or you can hook it up with a remote control rope so you can stand back in the crowd pen and open up the backstop. I have found that in most facilities, the only place you need a backstop is right up close to the squeeze chute. So you can get about two animals held close to the squeeze chute. The other backstops, I like to go in there and tie them all open. Because once you learn calm cattle handling, they back up less and you don't need all those backstop gates. This is part of a, of a survey I did for the U.S. Department of Agriculture in meatpacking plants. And I looked at how many of these plants had distractions that were going to make animals balk. And roughly half the places had done a good job of getting rid of the shadows, getting rid of the air hissing noises, getting rid of the clanging and banging. We need to work on getting rid of a lot of the noises that scare, equip, uh, scare cattle. A lot of equipment's way too noisy and clanking. Now at two of these places that I went to, the distractions were so bad that good cattle handling was absolutely impossible. The animals just refused to go. In one of the places, they could see a person's hand underneath a door, and in the other place, the chute was inside in the dark, and the crowd pen was out in the sun, and the animals absolutely refused to go. In fact, when it was cloudy, the facility worked just fine. And when it was sunny, the facility worked just terrible. You'll often find time of day effects. Well, I put this up here to remind me to talk about noise. This steer is um, you know, cooperating, but he doesn't really like the high-pitched noise from this hairdryer. High-pitched noises are the most scary because out in the wild, high-pitched noises are associated with, with distress calls. Animals have much more sensitive hearing than we have. In fact, cattle can hear much higher frequencies than people can hear. Now, in order to observe these little distractions that make the animals balk, you got to have calm animals. When those animals are calm, they will look right at the distraction. If there's a little chain hanging down in the chute, you can watch the leader just go like this. And he'll show you what he's afraid of. But if you got them all excited, you're not going to see it. They got to be calm. 